It brings you back to a sense of normalcy. It's like you have a hand again. Advanced prosthetic hands on the market can do lots of things. These are beautiful prosthetics with incredible capabilities, but we've had no way to control them. To get that kind of control, you really have to go to the nerves. The problem with most of the technologies we have is that the signals are really tiny. You have tiny little peripheral nerve signals and you have noise in those signals that's about the same size. So when you try to hear what a peripheral nerve is saying, you actually can't hear it. We designed a way to connect up with the peripheral nerves with a piece of muscle. And then what happens is when a tiny little peripheral nerve signal comes down the nerve, it goes into the muscle and it becomes a huge muscle signal. We've now seen, to my knowledge, the largest voltage recorded from a nerve compared to all previous results. That makes these signals big enough um, that we can record them and interpret them for controlling a prosthetic hand. Brought back into my mind the thought of, well, if I had something like this, I could actually be out working without risking hurting myself. I think it's a really good step into the future. It's a good way to move forward for not only me, but for other people. You can make a prosthetic hand do a lot of things, but that doesn't mean that the person is intuitively controlling it. So the, the difference is the person just thinks about moving. This worked on the very first time we tried it. So now we can access signals associated with individual thumb movement, multi-degree of freedom thumb movement, uh, individuated fingers, and this opens up a whole new world for people who are upper limb prosthesis users.